Let's begin at the top. Batch Scan allows you to create multiple scans in one or more originals contained on a single holder. Each scan in the batch can have completely different settings. For example, if you used a holder with multiple openings, each image could have different resolutions, crops, color spaces, etc. Let's add a few batch scans. Start by making a crop and select Add. FlexColor automatically numbers the files. We'll add in a second crop, add those again. Simply save your normal adjustments for each scan and hit scan and walk away. FlexColor will take over and apply your saved settings. Note that FlexColor also totals your file size and approximate scan time. Under Preset, if you find yourself creating the same batch scan settings, they may be saved and recalled through the Preset command. Double clicking the batch scan list opens up batch scan info window. Here you can find detailed information on each batch scan. Specify allows you to select where your batch scans will be saved. When you're using the 848 scanner with the optional batch feeder, you can activate the 3F batch scan by selecting scan 3F. Starting at the currently selected feeder position, a 3F scan will be generated from all the holders automatically until an empty or the last position is reached. The images will be sent to your current thumbnail folder. Position 1 is the top position of the feeder's magazine. When scanning a single holder, be sure to load your holder in position 1. When scanning multiple holders, skipping a position will cause the scanner to stop scanning. Unload will unload the currently loaded holder. This also can be activated by turning the scanner on and off. Home will unload the currently loaded holder and return the feeder to its home position. The cross symbol next to the setup indicates when a change has been made to the default setup. At the top of the frame pull-down is a new selection called Customize. This opens the frame's window. Here you will see a list of common frame sizes relevant to your scanner. Predefined frames cannot be changed. These are marked with a non-edit symbol. A check mark is placed next to each frame shown in the frame pull-down window. You can select which frame size appears in your frame pull-down by highlighting the frame and selecting Include. Selecting New brings up the ability to create a new frame for a custom holder. Enter in a file name and select Create. If your scanner supports auto frame recognition, as on the 848 or 646, you can automatically define a custom holder by simply scanning it. This will make a custom holder recognized by the auto frame detection and enable full use of the capabilities of your custom holder. This little thermometer icon brings up the color info button. This allows you to select up to five sample points in your image and monitor the values of these points. I will usually select a highlight point, a midpoint, and a shadow point. As you make tonal corrections, you can monitor the effect they have on the critical areas of your image. You can also set the amount of pixels that are sampled, and you can also hide the points or, or remove them entirely. Optimize can be somewhat confusing. With quality selected, all images will be scanned at a true optical resolution without interpolation. Speed enables faster scan times by taking advantage of resizing. Let's open up PPI to better illustrate this. You will notice some resolutions that are underlined. These are the true optical resolutions. The software determines which scan resolutions are the true optical resolutions based on the size of your original and the zoom percentage. With quality selected, even if you select a resolution that is not underlined and not a true optical resolution, it will still scan using a true optical resolution. For example, if I were to select 3000 ppi, which is not underlined, the scanner would actually scan at the next highest resolution, which is underlined and a true optical resolution, and resize the file down to 3000 ppi thus maintaining the highest possible quality at the selected resolution. 
Selecting resolutions that are not underlined will take longer to scan than underlined resolutions in the quality mode. With speed selected, the opposite occurs. Selecting the same 3000 ppi, the image will be scanned at the next lower underlined true optical resolution and resample the image up to 3000 ppi, giving you a much faster scan time. Now here's where it gets somewhat confusing. If you own a FlexType Precision 3 or newer, you have a third option, True Resolution. True Resolution does not make you sacrifice quality over speeds. All the scan resolutions are true optical resolutions without resizing, thus improving your scanning speed. If your scanner supports True Resolution, make this your default setting. Here we have Output Size. You can specify image size, zoom percentage, and resolution. Let's say, for example, your printer requests a file 300 dpi at size, and you want to print this image at 8 inches by 10 inches. Select the appropriate PPI, enter in the desired width, select return, enter in the desired height, followed by return. Now position your crop and select the lock icon. This will lock in the aspect ratio of your crop. When setting your height and width, be sure your crop is not activated. Here we have the zoom controls. I will use a 3F file to demonstrate these. You have zoom out, zoom in, and zoom fit. Another way to fit the entire preview in the window is to use the keyboard shortcut Command-0 on the Mac or Control-0 in Windows. To zoom 100%, hold down the Control-Option command and select 0 on the Mac, Control-Alt-0 in Windows. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And if I hold down the spacebar, I can use the Grab tool to pan around the image. Under Orientation, we can mirror the image and we can also rotate the image clockwise and counterclockwise. The R symbol shows the current orientation. The grid icon overlays a grid on your image. This can be used to check alignment. To change the grid color or number of lines, hold down the Option key while selecting the grid icon or Alt in Windows. For OS X and Windows users, we have added this handy feature called Crop Mask. This tool will mask off the area outside your current crop. Grayed out is soft proof. To activate soft proof, you must work in a CMYK mode. Select soft proof if you wish to approximate what your image will look like on your selected output device. This feature combines the ICC profile of your monitor with the input profile of your scanner and your selected CMYK output profile in flex color. A calibrated monitor is essential for soft proofing. Autofocus is available on some scanner models. If your scanner supports the mounted slide adapter, autofocus is designed to compensate for the varying focus points encountered when scanning slides. Autofocus works by comparing contrasts in the image to fine tune the focus point. This also may be used on other film holders. Let's examine the preference window. This can be found from the flex color menu under Preferences. Under the Scanner tab, we control the power management features. Use external white calibration is checked by default and should remain checked. Auto frame recognition is available on some scanner models. Each holder has its own unique identification code on the holder's leading edge. When checked, the scanner will automatically read the information code and adjust the frame set accordingly. Save image gives you the option of opening the files after scanning or capture automatically in Photoshop. Auto after new crop will apply the auto feature each time you make a new crop. This can be toggled on and off by holding down the option key when selecting a crop. The camera tab has options for selecting which camera model is in use. Also shutter and flash delay can also be set. From the preview window, you can open up your 3F files by holding down the command key on the Mac and use your left and right arrow keys to open previous and next 3F files from your thumbnail folder.